President Donald Trump announced Monday that Congress would soon issue a multi-billion dollar federal relief package for Tropical Storm Harvey. The package could cost as much as those for Hurricane Katrina at about $110 billion and Hurricane Sandy at almost $51 billion. That's good news because it looks like Harvey is going to be very expensive. The Federal Emergency Management Agency's Disaster Relief Fund has already shrunk to about $3.3 billion. That's down from $7 billion Congress gave it this year, and it isn't expected to cover the long-term recovery. That's because Harvey is causing extreme amounts of damage in southeast Texas, largely due to unprecedented flooding. And it's too early to tell just how bad that damage is going to be because floodwaters are still rising. With rainfall nearing 50 inches, Harvey has set a record for total rainfall from a single tropical cyclone in the continental U.S. A reservoir overflowed near downtown Houston and a levee broke about 40 miles from there Tuesday. A Moody's analyst said damage from Harvey will likely be much higher than most recent hurricanes. That's because the area impacted is densely populated. A similar situation happened with Hurricane Sandy. Although other hurricanes have been more deadly, New York's densely packed population meant the storm did major property damage. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner said as of now, city efforts are being placed on rescue rather than damage assessment.